almost 16 trillion. That is the federal debt right now. So shouldn't the government be doing everything it can to pay down the debt? Now that does seem obvious, but get this. More than 70 billion in federal funds is sitting in old accounts unspent and wasted. That's right. Congress appropriated that money for everything from education to highways, but it sits in bank accounts never spent. Now how could that be possible? We asked Senator Tom Coburn. $70 billion sitting out there doing nothing, of which have a tough time getting it back. No efforts being made to get it back. And yet it's already money we're paying interest on sitting doing nothing. And to explain it, this is money that the federal government has appropriated, sent out to the agencies and even on to state and local government. And to grantees. And to grantees. Never been spent, just sitting there, $70 billion. Over what period of time is it just sitting there? Well, if you take the, what is it, the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta? $2.6 million still sitting there. I mean, they've been over for 16 years. Is there no way for the federal government oh, yeah, to get this? Sure. Why are we going to get this $2.6 million? Well, that's a question that we ought to be asking the oversight committees and the appropriators. There's, I mean, I go through the list, and um, one of my, quote, favorites is Detroit, Michigan, which has an absolutely deplorable school system, and it, it has um, tens of millions of dollars that it has been granted by the federal government to fix their school system, never used, just sitting there. Yeah, and they haven't spent it. Doesn't anyone ever well, have think about it. You got HIV patients that can't get drugs, but yet there's millions of dollars sitting in, in, in programs for HIV patients, and we can't get them the money to buy the drugs. Is 70 billion the full universe of funds that's just sitting well, there? Or could what, it be worse? Or could what, it be worse? It could be worse. That's what we can find. You know, that's just what my office staff. I'm not. A, I don't have the access that the appropriators have to all these accounts. If I did, I'm sure I could find more. But the fact is, is 70 billion is enough. Let's get the 70 billion back and not borrow 70 billion dollars more this year, not raise our debt. I mean, 70 billion could delay the time at which we have to face another debt limit. I mean, why? Exactly. Why wouldn't the Detroit school system use the money that's given them? I can't give you. The, I, I don't recall the re details on why they didn't. Incompetency. Anybody have a good reason not to use the money that's been not appropriated? That we've heard of. No. Do they even know the money's sitting there? Yes. How about the agencies that sent it out? Um, are, are they have any inclination to try to go, at, go out and force it to be used? Well, not unless they're oversighted and held accountable by members of Congress, which requires work, which means you have to actually do your homework and try to find out where this is. I mean, we've got, we've got an earmark for a maglev train from Nevada to California, $46 million. It's been sitting there. It's not ever going to go anywhere. And because it's not politically right to bring it back, it's not ever going to come back. So we got $46 million just sitting there doing nothing. And now it has competition from a private train that's going to run between Las Vegas and California. So tell me when we're going to get it back. You know, you hear the discussion about raising taxes. Republicans don't want to raise taxes. Democrats want to raise taxes on certain uh, uh, people, uh, certain income levels. It's sort of hard w when you have this discussion about raising taxes when we see that the government has parked a lot of money, looked the other way, $70 billion that you found, and never bothered to go to see that it's actually used or that we recover it back into the Treasury. Well, the big picture, at least $400 billion a year is in duplication, waste, or fraud. That's a whole other category. Yeah. That's another category. Okay, that's, but that's per year, per year. And so we're talking about raising taxes. We're talking about the federal government borrowing $1.4 trillion this year. And here's $400 billion, and they refuse on um, amendment after amendment on the Senate floor to buy into ways to solve that. Because every one of these programs have a constituent and nobody wants to buck a constituent by doing the right thing. The, well, the real constituent is our kids and our country. Right. And so we're, we're not doing what we need to do to fix the problems right. in front of us. Of this $70 billion currently that you were able to locate that just sit in some place, never used, and this goes on for years, right? It's been sitting there for yeah. years, since 1996 for the yeah. Olympics. Um, there is now um, at least an effort and a, uh, a bill that uh, at least Senator Warner, I think, is introducing to try to give some ability so the federal government can recover, can return yeah. that money? Um, is that going to be a unanimous vote uh, to do that? I doubt it. Really? Uh, no. Well, remember what this says is, first of all, the agencies don't want to give it back. It, if you take it back, it lowers their baseline, so therefore they don't get as much money the next year. That's number one. Number two is if you take it back, the appropriators won't be able to reallocate money without anybody ever knowing where it went. In other words, staff on appropriation can reprogram money without any of the rest of us, nobody in America except them knowing where it went. So you take away the flexibility to be enhanced parochial interest, i.e. the politicians.
this this should set every American's it's hair criminal. on fire. It, criminal. Good it words. Is. It's absolutely criminal. Senator, thank you. You're welcome. Straight ahead, hold on to your seat. Another shot fired in the battle between Donald Trump and Miss Pennsylvania.